Hi, I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we're the owners and founders of Titan Medical Center. So our positions are, we're the owners, we're also the operators, right? So everything from day to day, we run everything from top to bottom. All internally, everything from top to bottom. And we are here every day inside the business, running it for the past decade. The best part about Titan Medical Center, uh, from my opinion, because I'm sure Sharice is going to have hers, um, is really getting to see the patient satisfaction. That's priceless. When somebody writes you or they call in or they text you and say, you guys have changed my life, that's something that, that, that feeling that you just can't go out and you can't get anywhere. You've literally helped somebody change your life so dramatically that they've wrote and told you this and their life is better for it. Whether they're healthier, whether their relationship's better, overall just feel amazing. And that, that is something that really, really hits home with me. And I think that's the best part of being a part of Titan Medical Center. Well, Titan Medical Center for me, basically, I've been in the medical field for, we're going about 17 years now. So prior to us opening this clinic, I was in the medical field. So I worked in dialysis. I've seen a lot of people sick and they don't feel good or they weren't getting what they wanted out of their providers and their doctors. They weren't getting enough time with the doctors. They didn't get their issues addressed. So I saw that there is something that we can provide to people that they're asking after we're going into the rooms and they're telling us, hey, listen, I didn't get to talk to the doctor. I'm like, okay, well, I understand. He has 45 patients to see. So this was our time to be able to change this, knowing that this was going to preventative medicine. And you know, we're so used to fixing everything after it's broken. And now I've got to see a whole different light of the medical field where you can actually prevent it from happening, which is huge, especially when you've seen all these people sick for so long, you're so used to seeing sick and then fix it versus trying to prevent it from even happening. So for me personally, that's been a really big game changer in my life because that's all I knew before we opened the business. Some of our most favorite patient responses, uh, and there's a lot of them, trust me. Some of mine, and I'll let you say yours, um, you've changed my life. That one really sticks with me, right? Mm -hmm. um, you saved my relationship. Well, that's a big one. That's another big one. Um, I've lost X amount of weight that I could never lose before. That's another big one. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of different ones. You help me better with sleep. I mean, and on and on and on. How about you? I have to agree with him on all of those, absolutely, and that's a given, because we're that's what we're supposed to do here at Type Medical, right? It's to make you feel better, look better, perform better, be healthier. That's our job, it's to be expected. Now, what gets the best of me is when people say that we provide the best customer service. And the reason that hits home for me is because we put in so much work and so much effort here at Titan, all of us do, me, John, all of the staff members, and we do after hours, we do weekends, we respond to text messages, emails, whatever we need to do, make sure we're on it, whatever we need to do to make sure that you're taken care of. So when somebody says you guys have the best customer service hands down, it's rewarding to me knowing that we're doing what we should be doing. So that's probably one of the best things for me personally. I agree. What are our future goals with Titan Medical Center? So being in this almost 10 years, all right, uh, we've grown exponentially every year. So it's a blessing for that and thank you for all the support. For us, it's really taking Titan Medical Center to the next level. That's what it's always about, progression. Uh, never regressing, never staying in place, but always making things bigger and better, right? So hopefully more locations, more Titan Medical Center therapies, uh, more clothing lines to come, a lot of different things, I, I guess. I just want Titan Medical Center in overall to take over and kill it. <laughs> I have to agree again with everything he says. Um, I would say in my personal opinion, obviously, I definitely want to have the multiple locations. However, because we put so much hard work and effort into our brand and our reputation, which is something you can't purchase, it's very important that whoever is going to be doing these jobs and running these different clinics, that they are running it to the standard that we upkeep. So that's the biggest one to me. And as long as I can find the people to do it, then I'm all on board for it. That's right. It's always quality <laughs> over quantity in anything you do.
What's up, guys? Welcome to another tight medical movie review just for you. <laughs> Looper! You ready? Let's do it. What's up, guys? John here with another movie review just for you. And I'm Cherie, it's his beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> so, tonight we got to see Madam Webb. So, me and Cherise went, it was Valentine's Day. So, we're like, all right, let's go see a movie. The movie was packed. So, I'm thinking, all right, this might be good. Now, you know, I seen a couple, you know, people talking on the internet before this movie saying how bad it was gonna bomb and how bad it was gonna be. But I always like to give it a chance. You know, it's gonna be a Marvel character. I wanna see, you know, what they're gonna come up with. Now, this was a Sony's picture who owns the rights to Spider-Man and most of the characters of Spider-Man, um, but it was Marvel associated. So even in the beginning, you see the, the Marvel intro with all the characters and stuff like that. So, you know, when you see that, that's putting Marvel stamp of approval on your movie. Now. You know, this is kind of like the before who Madame Web really is, if you guys know the character. If you guys don't, she was introduced in like the 1980s in, in Spider-Man comics. And at that point, it's a little Spider-Man character. So it's like telling her story of how she got to who she was, I guess. And then a couple of the teenage girls, the Spider-Man or Spider-Women and whatever, I, I don't even know all their names. Mm -hmm. But at that point, <laughs> introducing them. So in the trailer, this was kind of why I don't like some of these trailers because in the trailer, it shows these girls in costume as superheroes. And in this movie, you're not gonna get much of it. I'm not gonna ruin it for you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna ruin it. It's only like five minutes. I didn't even think it was of that long. Of the costumes, long. maybe three and a half. I didn't think it was that long. Um, you know, Madame Webb starts gonna introduce her powers and stuff like that in this movie. So you get to see some of that. But the girls, that's it. She just protected them and they're going their way. Uh, I, I thought the writing could have been a little better. It was some cheesy lines in there, some real cheesy ones. Pretty bad. Um, and I thought the movie could have been a little bit better. I mean, you know, it's just, it is what it is. So with this movie review, I'm gonna give it like a 2.3. Uh, you know, I, I, I really didn't think it was that good put together. And it's gonna be hard to keep your attention if you're looking for characters and superheroes in this movie because there's not too much of that. Now, on the flip side, the Ezekiel character, right? Who's like in the Spider-Man costume in the trailer, which in the comics, he really didn't wear that costume like that. So it's kind of a little, little change. Um, but I don't know if they were just trying to play off Spider-Man with it. Now the character that he plays is pretty cool, but uh, like I said, I think they were just trying to pull Spider-Man's image into this some, somewhat, because it was the exact same costume almost, just different coloring. So don't be fooled for that. Now that was probably the best parts of the movie is seeing him in the costume and going after these girls per se, right? So like I said, 2.3, don't listen to me, go see it for yourself. Definitely listen to John. And then for real, definitely listen to me movie was terrible <laughs> Mar what was the one this is Mar whatever Adam was. Webb no 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 the bad one who the guy with the Indian chick uh come on uh, Marvels Supergirls whatever oh Marvels Marvels okay so after the Marvels movie came out I was very very skeptical about coming to see this movie because of how bad that movie was um and this movie lived up to its dreams of a 1.3 wow this movie was bad well, again, it only got the one star because John was sitting next to me being his cute self, right? But this movie, I mean, I don't even, I literally don't even know what happened in the movie because I, I don't even know what was going on. Like, I they couldn't even keep my attention. I mean, I knew that she, she could like see in the future and that was about it. But there was like no action. There was no nothing. These girls, nothing ever happened. Like, it was just, you were kind of waiting for it. I'm like looking, I literally looked at the clock like, probably three, four or five times that you're in the middle of a movie for a movie buff, you don't look at the clock, right? right. You just watch the movie and enjoy the movie. Right. I think there could have been other characters they could have bought movies out with that would have been a lot better. And they were comparing this movie to Morbius, which I thought Morbius was a hard movie. Was pretty good. But this movie was was no near comparison as good. Happy Valentine's Day, guys. <laughs> I'm going to eat some dinner with my wife for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed our movie review. And don't worry, we're going to come back with more just for you and we're going to tell you the honest to god truth of what we think about the movies and you guys can judge it for yourself if you say you guys are right yeah i'm always right <laughs> we'll see you the next time medical movie review see you then All right. hey my name is jessica azarello and i am here to talk to you today about one of my favorite therapies from titan medical center the injectable biotin 
Over the years, I had struggled with different aspects of health. I ended up losing a lot of my hair, so I started taking the injectable biotin about six months ago, and my hair is very incredible. It's actually grown back, and it's grown longer, but also thicker. So I was actually born with very thin hair. So when I started losing my hair, you could notice when I would pull my hair back, I would have like bald spots. And I would even have people make fun of me about it. And it was just like really hard for me. So I'm very, very thrilled with the progress so far. I basically, um, I receive my therapies every single month. And every morning what I do is I use a very tiny needle and I just inject it. And you don't even feel anything, but you know, I used to have to wash my hair every single day, and if I didn't, it was really stringy, it looked really gross. I actually can go a couple days and not wash my hair, and my hair actually is full and voluminous and curly, and you know, so I highly recommend it if you're looking to improve your hair. You definitely can't go wrong with Titan Medical Center injectable biotin. The production of peptides in individuals can vary greatly and decline is generally seen in our body's production of peptides as we age. This is where Titan Medical Center's peptide therapies come into play. Peptide therapy is the use of peptides in treatment to direct cells to perform the function specific to the peptide being used. Our bodies naturally produce many kinds of peptides and there are many different types of peptide therapies, all of which are used to trigger specific functions within the body. For more information about Titan Medical Center's peptide therapies, call or text us today at 727-389-3220 or visit us online at titanmedicalcenter.com. We want to help you feel, look, and perform at your optimal levels. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome and good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcuts. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're going to... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. So... Another great episode this Sunday to cover tricks, tips, and things that will hopefully enhance your relationship, make your relationship better, maybe ignite those flames that have been diminished through time, or maybe make your future relationship that you're not in the best one you've had yet. So uh, every week we come up with some good topics or some good things to talk about that will hopefully help you guys out. Um, you guys can institute and use, utilize these things to maybe make things better. So this one's pretty important here, right? I think this is for everything, but... This goes back to like the, the 1880s. Yeah, you know, this is <laughs> especially for relationships, right? And anything that you do. Actions speak louder than words. Mm. It's a true statement. It really true. is. Very and uh, it can be used in any relationship or anything that you do. Uh, meaning that don't just say it, do it. Um, and a lot of people have these different issues in relationships, um, examples, right? Uh, hey, honey, um, don't leave the toilet seat up, right? I'm just going off the head. I don't know why I said that. But, John I doesn't never do. ever do that. Yeah. I never do. I always put it down. So random. I, I get to my guy friends. Oh, honey, don't worry. I'll never do it again. Don't worry about it. And it, 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 it just in one ear and out the other, right? It keeps getting left up. So at that point, like, they're not doing any actions to really help that problem. Um, they're just saying it and they're not doing it. So that's another big one, right? Or, honey, I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to go to Maybe every yoga like, class. It's not even like doing something even. It doesn't even have to be like an actual action, right? It could be, let's just say that you say that, and this is a big one, right? You say that I love you, right? I love you. I care about you. Yeah. I want anything in the world for you, right? But when it comes to, you know, picking something that would be, let's say, 
more selfish or less selfish, right? Because you're thinking about your significant other because you love them so much, right? Mm -hmm. Or let's just say, um, you know, if you want to show your love and appreciation by making them feel special and doing something that you normally don't do, right? Let's say just getting them unexpected flowers, right? Or bringing them unexpected lunch at, at, at their job, right? Or maybe just something that's unexpected to show them, you're showing them, right, that you love and appreciate them. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, 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 it. Actions do speak louder than words. You could talk all day. Yeah. You know, and this goes, you know, not just in relationships. This goes at work. Yeah. It goes back and forth. It goes friends. You, you can put it in the kids. Yeah. So <laughs> the you, whole night. Here's a good one for work, right? So when we're trying to hire people, you ask them questions. Like, oh, my gosh. Um, you know, are, are you organized? Oh, here we are go. you a go getter? You know, this, you that. I'm a go getter. I, I do everything. I'm the most organized person you've so ever organized. met. I, I can't, I'm I'm my closet looks so good. It's OCD. Yeah, I, I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. But when they get on the job, then it reflects. Because their actions are not going along with what their words said. Right. And you're like, well, your actions are speaking louder than your words because you said you were doing this, you're going to do this, do this, this, this. And you really don't do any of that. Um, so it's just a big one out there. Like, you know, it's like under promise and over deliver. Yeah. That's another big one out there. So at that point, like don't promise the world and only deliver half the world, promise half the world and deliver the whole world. Yes. Right. Um, that's where really, you know, people get more excited about these things and people, they'll look at you different over time. So if you keep saying, well, you build a rapport, right. If you keep telling them you're going to do something, do something, do something and your actions don't reflect then every time that you don't follow through with that action, it kind of lessens your credibility, right? Every mm -hmm. time they're going to be like, well, are you, are you really, really going to do, do it? it? Yeah, are you really <laughs> going to do it or are you just saying you're going to do it? Right. Um, and we, yeah, that a lot too. You know, it's, it's obviously following through with your word as well. Um, you know, saying you're going to do something, following through with your word, and then doing the action that you're going to say you're going to do. It happens a lot in a lot of different relationships. Um, you know, even we were talking about financials uh, a couple episodes ago and mm -hmm. people say, oh, I'm going to be better financially. We're going to save. We're going to do this. We're going to do that. Yet they Keeps go out and they keep buying stuff. The actions do not reflect actions what their words are. Actions than words. Yeah. You know, so it, it's, it's, it's a tough one. Or, or let's just, let's go down, you know, of course, I have to be the, like, the worst case scenario. I do this every <laughs> time, right? John, uh, Jimmy and John always be talking and then, you know, the worst case scenario comes out of my mouth and he's like, what do you think? Where do you come up with this stuff? But like, okay, let's just say, right? Honey, I love you so much, da, da, da. Then you find out they're cheating on you, right? Ooh. Shame, right shame. i know this is this is, happens every day now right you find out they're cheating on you so obviously i mean you, i don't care if you love me or not i mean if you respected me enough you wouldn't cheat on me right mm -hmm. so let's just say you guys mend it right and mm -hmm. everything you mend it somehow get past it i love you honey i love you honey i'm never gonna do it again da, 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 da. boom 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 let's say fast forward even a year two years boom cheats again Actions speak louder than words. Mm -hmm. Now, obviously, I mean, we have a problem here, right? So it's the same exact scenario. I mean, your actions are going to speak louder than words, regardless of what you say. Then you're going to be talking on deaf ears. Yeah. You are. You're going to talk on deaf ears. They're not going to listen to what you're saying. They have. You're not going to be able to get through to people because you're not coming through with what you say you're coming through with, or you're not really meaning what you're saying. Mm -hmm. You're just saying it. Yeah, that's a big one. It really is a you big know? one out there. And, um, you know... Actions can be a lot of different things, right? That could be you listening to your partner. Yeah. Right? You never listen to me, right? And you actively listen to them. And your actions are, they can see you and listening to them pretty much. I mean, people really know if you're listening to them most of the time or not. Your, you know, your attention's towards them. You're looking at them. You know, eye, eye contact, contact is another big one. Um, you're not interrupting them. You're letting them talk and, 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 and get off their chest, whatever it needs to be. And you're listening and, and taking that, right? That's a big one out there that a lot of people um, don't fall through with action-wise. They're not listening to their partner. And that will cause a whole bunch of other problems down the line, too. Oh, for sure. Because you're not listening to them. And then if they tell you over and over and over and you don't get it, then they're going to be like, you're not listening to me. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. You know, and this is an action right there. That's one right off the bat. That's another, like, it's a big one in a lot of relationships out there. For sure. It's a listening faction. Um, you know, basically, like, uh, respecting their opinion. So whatever their opinion is, right? We all know what opinions are, right? Yeah. And so, you know, <laughs> they can have their opinion. You can have your opinion. 
this goes back to you taking action and really taking their opinion in and seeing if you can work or compromise on different things. Don't slaughter their opinion. Don't slaughter their opinion, right? Or they're never going to want to talk to you at that point. Uh, right. Or they're going to be like, you just don't listen to me. Um, you just hear what I have to say and that's it. You know, I mean, that's, that's another big one. This is communication again. We're going to bring it up again, right? It always goes back to that root word. The root word of communication. Communication. We should probably just have like a banner in the background that says communication. Maybe art can create that for us. Um, But, you know, I really think it's communicating because even if you have an opinion, right? Because sometimes me and John, we do think very much alike. It's crazy however we sometimes we we have our separate opinions and we we just have to agree to disagree that happens very rarely but every once in a blue moon it's like we're gonna agree to disagree i respect your opinion you respect my opinion and here's where we're at but at least my opinion is always right and that's the way it is right he is right all the time (laughs) See, you see how that works? And now we're, we're all good. Yeah. We're not fighting about it because you just go along with it. Now, did did I really mean what I say? Who knows? You know what I mean? <laughs> we'll see if her actions reflect and just keep agreeing with me. Oh, yeah, I mean, He's a, right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it make things a lot more smoother, right? Yeah. Um, but no. <laughs> you know, another one is, like, you know, if you're like, I just want to be happy. And you're like, I'm going to make you happy. And then you don't do anything to change how the current situation is. Like, nothing, right? You're like, well, you, you told me you are going to make me happy, but you're still sitting on the couch. You're not taking me any places. You're not listening to my opinions or what issues or problems I'm having. You know, this is another form of just action not taking place. And, you know, at that point, it's just, you know, people, I don't know if they just don't want to change or they just don't think it's like, like, or maybe they, maybe they don't care enough to change yeah. or to put forth the effort because it does take effort. It does take and effort. And when, you know, effort takes time and, you know, it just everything, it's just kind of chain effects from there. So it's mm-hmm. like you do have to put forth an effort. You might actually have to come up with a thought process to actually do something to make your significant other happy. Yeah. But this is where it comes to, you know, if you love them enough, you'll listen to what they're saying. Listen, process it, and then do something about it. Do something about it. Action. Sure, 100%. You know, those actions, you know, they're going to take a little bit of effort. You know um, what I you know, a, good, a really good one is, is that, you know, if you, because this is very common, actually. If you are saying that you're not spending enough quality time with me, right? Mm-hmm. Right? No quality time. We never, we never get to hang out alone anymore. We don't ever get to do anything. And you don't do anything to show that you are realizing that you are not having this time. There's no private dinners that you guys are going to go to. There's no movie. There's no nothing you guys are doing together. But yet your significant other keeps telling you, I don't have any time with you alone. Mm-hmm. You know, and you don't, you're not changing that. That's a really mm-hmm. common one that mm-hmm. I think I've had even my girlfriends or even guy friends bring that up where... We don't have any alone time anymore, and you know I mentioned it, and nothing ever changes. It's just the same every single time. Eventually, it gets old. Mm-hmm. And you know what? If you're the the opposite side of the partner, right, and you're asking for these things, and your partner is, keeps promising but has no action that they've done, and you're getting frustrated, the best thing you could possibly do is talk to them one more time, and then, right. Slap him. Oh. I'm kidding. Well, that might wake him up. But <laughs> well, wake that, up. like, you know, you got to put a, a plan in play of how you're going to resolve this issue. And that's really, what are we going to do? And really sit down with them. If you really care that much and you really want it to work and you want them to follow through with action, set a plan in place for an action plan. I love action plans. He does. Um, And action plans will (laughs) set out and basically say, hey, what's step one, what's step two, what's step three? If you guys got to lay it out like that, that might be a learning thing. And some people might need that. And if you really care and you really want it, then you guys will help and you guys will come together and do that. And then you got to hit those goals, those benchmarks. And if they don't change at that point, after you've already laid it out, got to move on. Then you got to look at other things that you're going to do. Got to move on. It obviously is not going to work. And then you're just going to be. you know, being insane. It's the definition of insanity. You're going to be doing the exact same thing over and over and over. And expecting a different result. That's right. And there's not going to be a different (laughs) result. So you're driving yourself insane. And nobody wants to be insane. You know, listen, honestly, you could be like me. I'm very straightforward. So when I want something, I tell John, like, hey, listen, the other day I was like, we never get to go to the movies anymore. I want to go to the movies. Okay, fine. Let's go. You know, it's it's sometimes it could be if you believe it or not, it can actually be as simple as that. Mm-hmm. If you want something, just ask. 
Sometimes you'd be surprised. You might just get it like this. That's right. You know, a lot of you guys might even want one of these. You know, I, I've, I've seen this on 90 Day. Well, the, everybody wants one on 90 Day, right? They're trying to come over. <laughs> <laughs> I love that show. But, um, you know, maybe you want to be proposed to, right? Yeah. Say it. Like, yeah. if you sometimes in plain English, if you just say it, sometimes they just, they get it. Sometimes, you don't, you, you know, a lot of times you'll just beat around the bush and be like, well, you know, we don't spend time together. Or, uh, you know, we, we've been together a long time. But like, OK, well, here's a box of chocolates, you know, right. like, no, it's not, not I didn't want a box of chocolates. I wanted a diamond. You know, this is, not, this is what I wanted. So I'm using this as an example because you might really want something and you keep beating around the bush and beating around the bush and beating around the bush. I'm a very straightforward person. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's bad. It is what it is. But at least I'm very straightforward with him. And if I want something, I'm like, hey, this is what I want. Can we make it happen? Please. <laughs> so, <laughs> to some degree. I mean, it's just a little breakdown for you guys. And it's, yeah. it's a really easy and simple thing to accomplish. Um, do what you say you're going to do. Yeah. Follow Create through. Create action and follow through with whatever you say you're going to do. So don't let words overpower your actions let actions overpower your words don't just talk about it be about it right yeah. under promise over deliver <laughs> in anything you do and you'll always come out on top how many guys. quotes can we pull from this episode this is a good one a ton, a ton. <laughs> that's right those are good ones too. yes that's we're right. clipping this. We're That's putting right. this on all social media platforms. I might even make big banners and put them through the Titan offices. <laughs> That's what it's all about. And that can happen in business too, right? It happens you all the time. You say you're going to complete a task. You don't do it. I'm going to do better tomorrow. I you promise. Know? I'm going to pick up the phone by the first ring. Yeah, you don't do you're it. You're just not, still not picking up the phone by the first ring. Actions you just keep looking at the phone when it rings. I want to do so good at my job, but I don't do what I'm supposed to do at my job. Please give me a raise. What is this? <laughs> Come on, guys. Be better. Do better. All right? Yeah, and you'll get better. That's right. That's that's a beautiful thing right there. So, guys, this is another Cupid's Corner from me and Sharice. We're here for you guys every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. If you guys don't DVR it or you missed it, don't worry. We got you guys. Go to YouTube. Check out Tight Medical Center. Hit the subscribe button and all notification bell. You can watch all our episodes. Plus, if you guys don't want to see us, but you guys want to listen to us, maybe you're driving, maybe you're working out, go to wherever podcasts are available. You can download our podcast too as well. You guys will be able to listen to us on the road, training, whatever it is. Also, our social medias, Facebook, Instagram. You guys are going to love some of the content on there. I promise you. So go check that out. Hit the subscribe button or the follow button or the like button on all those different social media platforms so you can be in tune to what's going on with us, Cupid's Corner, and all of Titan Medical Center. So I appreciate it. I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you guys next week for another Cupid's Corner. See ya. Bye, guys.